now we have all of these entries for uh, this address book we have multiple phone numbers but it would be much nicer if you were to be able to specify type of phone numbers either business or uh, home so we cannot tell from this entry one other option would be just creating separate elements just home phone number business phone number different kind of things and then you need to keep guessing different types but it would be nice if it specify an attribute so that attribute would take different kind of values and so that you can specify what type of phone number or address or email address uh, that is let's go to our schema document and our entry type we have all of these elements here what I like to do is I like to have attributes for phone number, email address and street address so to be able to we need to change these elements to complex types so that they can take attributes and now they are strings, simply do a right click set type, new this is phone number, it's going to complex type Let's say phone type and let's do the same thing for the email address here let's call this one address type oh it's already taken email type and let's change this one to street type okay now we have created these complex elements so we need to specify an attribute and a value now these uh, complex types cannot take uh, values by themselves only you can have values for their uh, child elements so the right click first we're gonna add an element which is going to be our number phone number and let's specify its type uh, which is going to be attribute and let's call it type and there are some other uh, options uh, you can uh, look at uh, w3schools uh, website where you can actually specify uh, this is number so it can take only strings of numbers but uh, this default string value is fine at this time and other thing we need to specify is basically we can have multiple phone numbers so this phone number uh, repeats so we have this one here we're going to do the same thing for email at element it's called email and type same thing here and let's call it address and attribute save it and let's quickly validate our schema document okay. now since we, are, since we have changed our schema our old instant document won't be able to validate anymore uh, against the schema but we could have saved it under a different name so let's create a new schema a uh, new instant document Book instance two, and we have this optional attributes and optional elements. Let's go with the default again. Go to design. So we have the record. So let's put our entry fields here. So we have first name, last name, and let's call it Jane Doe. This time Jane Doe is going to have, uh, let's say, two phone numbers. Phone number. And let's add another one. And add another email address. Okay. If you click phone number, you can see the phone number here. Uh, let's put the phone number. And now this is the number but this element also can take an attribute now add an attribute we have type so this is going to be let's say home and same thing this phone number let's add attribute to say office 
this. Okay. Uh, email address. Since uh, attributes are optional, so you need to add them manually here like this for email address. Okay. okay. This is its personal email address. yahoo.com uh, these values for uh, these uh, attributes also can be specified you can create something like a drop down list type of option uh, but uh, for sake of this example we kept them uh, basically uh, we allow them to take any value so let's save it and this validated it's valid also if you look at the source view so you can see how it looks like so we have the phone number type here phone number type email address type here so that's how it appears with that we